hello and welcome and next I am planning to disassemble and remove this radiator what position is in here and what kind of tools we need first we need this kind of tongs what fits in that hose in here and let's go to look that hose closer there is this hose and there is this Toyota's joint that we need to insert these tongs these tongs these points in here and then press in that way and then when I little bit rotate that and then if I need flat screwdriver I only also help that joint clipper and then then this clipper opens that I take in this, this kind of movement and then I move that a little bit forward and then I also take this coolant hose away okay and then the next part is that that there are two bolts, one in here and second in here. And for that bolt, that bolt we need 12 millimeter socket. What fits in here, and then it's easy to open these bolts like this standard friends. Okay, and there is this standard 12 mm bolt. And then this another bolt, what was in there? And again, same process in that. And similar bolt there. Okay, now and then we can take this metallic mounting plates away, same way, and also in this outer area too, in here. Good, and then also here is this cap hat, and there is small metallic this pin, what we press, and then we take that that part in we insert that metallic pin in here and then then that this is also away. Good and now now this radiator is moving and, and then I can lift this little bit up in here. I I, I insert my First I insert this cable, first I insert this cable in here, first this like I, I press that in here, actually I try, and then I check that, can, can I, can I lift up, can I lift up this radiator, and then one warning message. This radiator is extremely, extremely easy part to damage. There, there can be leaks or we can create really easily holes in this aluminium net because this is so weak. And be really carefully and work slowly, like in that speed, not this one. Because this radiator is also quite expensive part. Okay, and then I try to lift that more. Okay, and then I try to lift that. Now it's something like this. I'm not too careful. Ok, 
Okay, and then we have one hose that we need to open. Okay, and before of this hose, there is one electric cable in here. In here, that cable. What, what I need to release also carefully, and there is only small press, and then. And this cable, cable is away. And now it seems that that my part. And this is the right way. But now this my part opens in wrong way. Okay. Then I insert this cable in here. And then, then this cable, I carefully. Lift this up and then again carefully and in that position in that position and carefully because because now now there is this this hose it is in here this hose I need to remove that next and, and when I, I handle this this Radiate really carefully. Okay. Okay, and then insert that ready radiator really carefully in that position. Do not bend this radiator like in that way because then this radiators leaks in here. There, there will be one hundred percently leak in these areas and extremely dangerous because there is also this this uh, plastic and aluminium this is really bad combination if we have two things okay and then I, I saw that how to insert that in because this this hose is our next target and there is this joint in that way carefully and it is here and I carefully Lift this up, and I bend that in carefully. That it take some support contact in there. There we can see that I insert that part in this part in here. It supports in here. That now, now there is some support point, and then I take my tongs. Then I take my tongs. Because here is this our joint carefully. Here are my tongs and then I insert this tongs in here carefully. And I, I take my hands in here that this radiator don't move. metallic pin in, in, in here and it's my, my job I insert that I press that in, in this, these clippers in together I like to show this idea that how to insert those together first I then I rotate here and this means that together. And then, then I try to I a little bit move that radiator and then I should do move that. that. Okay, and now this radiator is quite interesting position. Actually, it is quite nice because this was this my target. Again, I come with my tongs, and again, and then I try to move that a little bit away in here. But then I, I, I use my 
screwdriver. I have here this flat point screwdriver and with that I I help that to move and then I remember that if I take this full hose away carefully, yes, it helps it helps me. Okay and now now here is this clipper and Hose is also away. Excellent. Okay, and, not, and then, then I can lift carefully this radi radiator away. In carefully, two hands, and, and so carefully, like glass. Okay, and there. Okay, and here we have this radiator, and it's good to handle really carefully because it is it is so easy and so weak. It's like glass. Now I think that it it might be okay, or then not. I try to be so careful when possible. Okay, and this was this part. And then we continue.